Broadcasting live from the Vile Stadium in San Francisco, home of the 40 Nightmares. You know why this team is named that? Because their fans are known to wake up in a cold sweat screaming at the top of their lungs. <laughs> I don't blame them. Don't poke fun at their city, Grim. Plenty of great places to eat if you like vegan. Hey, I love to eat vegans, but they always whine when you're cooking them. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Simpson Nasty Mangles take on the San Francisco 40 Nightmares. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yeah, hey, man, I was here on the now. now. <laughs> if you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're going to love seeing mutants not cold, their brains turn into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. NFL game day is on the air. Oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. Cornerback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. QB is saying his prayers. And Bricks, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. Nice catch. And he Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. is on its heels. Great run on that play. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball and hits a man. What a hit that was. It's first and ten. And the defense goes for the juggler. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! Yeah. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. First down! He was. 
was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down in a mile. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Third down and three. And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. And that's how you run the football. First down. First and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! And that's a nice run for a first down. Okay. on that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. And that'll bring up third and one. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. 
I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. He refuses to go down. He picks up five on that play. And that'll bring up third and one. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Foost dirty trick. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. And this is a first and long. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. And the ref runs out of bounds and manages to survive somehow. Yeah, at least for another 40 seconds. <laughs> First down in a mile. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. Defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Second down and a lot. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and, well, good luck. with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. Looks like the defense. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji. The new game from Wilton Crabtree. Third and two. Oh, a 
with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shit. How with the brain scrambler. Second down and five. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. It's a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the game. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway, exit five. First and ten. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out during halftime. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hey. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, win. they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. First down and five. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. They stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Look at that little mutant run! Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim! Oh, and the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. This is your brain, and this is your brain on berserker drugs. As bad as that guy's brain getting crushed out of his helmet! Go!
and they line up for the extra point. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And he's running like a move. And this guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about 10 on that play. Hey, it's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, throw in the half. Can you pick me up a soylent beer? The teams come out of halftime all tied up and ready to battle it out. Oh, jeez, Grim. I hope someone ties them soon. They gotta play football. <laughs> When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked out? What do you do then? Run. up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. He is fighting for every yard. And he runs it for four yards. Third down and a pussy here. Cannonball, first down. And my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and, and the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy.
First and eight to go. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. Oh, great throw, great catch, and that puts six points on the board. The defense couldn't do anything to stop a throw that good, man. You mean aside from priming the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And the defense goes for the juggler and rushes to... Oh, <laughs> wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Wow, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. <laughs> the offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful, because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down in a mile. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting, or dead, or worse. Yeah, hey, man, I was hanging on the middle now. Hang on the head. <laughs> Third down is never going to happen. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog being snagged. And he punched his way out of that tackle. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the line. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Boom! Second and three. Shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. First down and nine. Second down and 
Ain't gonna happen, partner. shot here extra point but this guy could blow it straight through the uprights here comes the kickoff let's see if the defense can hold them they're going to be able to return this one First and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. Before he caught it, you gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And the Nightmares forfeit and lose the game at home. Well, there's no good way to lose, but uh, this was clearly the worst way to lose. Am I right, Bricks? And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Oh, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotropism. <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.